Uh, verse 17, he drew me out of many waters. Uh, I love it. And, and here, uh, the word there for being drawn out of the waters, I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but it's, it's like moshi, um, which maybe you've heard of that before because that's only ever used before to describe when the daughter of Pharaoh sees this Hebrew baby um, going through, you know, floating down the Nile and she draws him out. She moshies him. And, and, and then she doesn't know his name, so she names him Moshi, uh, which is the actual way we're actually meant to say Moses as Moshi. Um, which is odd, but, um, but so, so they're drawn out of water. And so just as much as baby Moses was drawn out of water, here, this is the, the strong king of Israel says, I need that just as much. I'm like a helpless baby. God, I need you. My enemies are too strong for me. Would you draw me out? Like the, grand, like the daughter of Pharaoh drew out baby Moses from the Red Sea. Just like Peter receiving the hand of Christ, drawing him out of the Sea of Galilee. And I think biblically, there's just this wonderful picture that we see again and again and again of, of, of death described as, as water and, and resurrection or life or rescue or salvation or redemption being seen as being drawn out of water. And, and I think for us, as we're in baptism season again, I think it's, it's maybe worthwhile to just point out like what is happening. So on the 23rd, when we go and we watch, like what's going to be taking place? We're going to see essentially a reenactment of what took place, the moment a, a sinner places their trust in the Savior, that they are drawn out of the water. And it's wonderful. And so I encourage all of you to, to come and to watch and to celebrate. And for those that haven't not been baptized yet, so this is your chance. October, uh, August 20th, don't even have to wait till October. <laughs> August 23rd uh, is the time. And I, I also want to say, you know, a tangent on a tangent, um, we, we live in a country that with a rich tradition of um, <sighs> sprinkling water on babies and calling it baptism. And I, I, I just have to say that I think as wonderful and as a, as a beautiful symbol that is of the, of the hope and the belief of the parents, as great as, I'm not trying to, to diminish that, I think that falls so short from the biblical imagery of salvation and redemption being drawn out of death into life that we see when a believer willingly submits to being placed under the water and then drawn out, moshied out of the water, symbolizing the resurrection of Christ and the resurrection that's taken place in their own lives.